Hi there. This is my entry for the Spar for the Spurtle. I'm utilizing some delicious Bob's Red Mill Steel Cud Oats. You know they're the world's best. I'm going to do it with a little savory preparation using some blue cheese, some Parmigiano Reggiano, a little bit of garlic, yum, and some organic basil. We're going to make an, a savory oat cake and uh, we're going to top it off with a little uh, marinara sauce. I hope you enjoy. So our water's come to a boil now, so let's uh, add a little bit of salt in there, a little salted water, and adding uh, a cup of steel cut oats. And I'm gonna use my trusty little spurtle here to stir it clockwise. Legend has it, you know, if you don't stir clockwise, you can whisk in some evil spirits into your oats. And uh, I sure don't want any evil spirits in these oats today. Once the oats have had a chance to express themselves, now add in some of the uh, savory ingredients, if you will. First, you can try a little, a little garlic. We're gonna put in the Reggiano, as well as the blue cheese. And, but we're gonna save the basil to the very end to let those flavors really open up. Uh, so let's um, get our spurtle back. And again, stirring clockwise, we'll incorporate all of those new ingredients. Oh, if you could only smell this. Now it looks like uh, our oats are getting ready to come off the heat, but just before we do, I'm gonna toss in that uh, basil now and stir it in, again, clockwise, because even basil won't defeat those evil spirits. Small dollop with a, an Americanized spurtle and drop it into your pan. I'm gonna do two. Oh, can you hear that sizzle? I like to top them with my mom's homemade marinara sauce. She makes it like nobody else does. Simply dress it. Uh, make it a little attractive. You can hide, hide a little bit of the burnt parts if you went a little aggressive. Add a little bit more Parmesan and maybe a little basil right on the side. And with that, we have savory oat cakes topped with marinara. Bon appetito.